well, this is not Sean Connery. This is this is a new actor. Let's go. On Her Majesty's Secret Service is the sixth James Bond movie, and this is also one of I don't want to say the worst, but it's up there. But I don't think it's a very terrible film, but I just don't really care for this film. I didn't care for the film. Now, the plot of this movie is, in the film, Bond faces Blowfield once again, who is planning to sterilize the world's food supply through a group of brainwashed angels of death, which include, and unless... He demands, his demands are met for international am amnesty for recognition of his title as the Count de Blucamp, the French form of Blofeld, and to be allowed to retire into private life. Along the way, Bond meets, falls in love, and eventually marries Contessa Teresa de, de Vincenzo, if you all seen the review, see, seen this movie. Now, this is the only Bond film to be directed by Peter R. Hunt, who served as second unit director and a film editor of the previous film in the series. Now, this movie is very realistic and dark. And this movie may not be as good as the predecessors, but I don't think this is a terrible movie. Okay, let's start off with the new actor playing James Bond, George Lazenby. I didn't think he was horrible, I just didn't think he was as great as he should have been. If he would have stayed around to play him more often, um, he would, I would have liked him a little more, but he only wanted to do this film. Diana Rigg as Countless Tracy DiVenzizzo, she's, she's awesome, she's okay. Telly Savalas as Blofeld. He, he's all, Blofeld is still awesome, I just miss Donald Pleasance. That does bother me, but what can you do? You also have M again, Bernard Lee. This is the sixth of 11 you know, produced Bond films, from Dr. No to Moonraker, Moonraker. And this was the sixth film for Miss Moneypenny. And this was the fifth of 17 James Bond films with Q. But yeah, but yeah, let's just. They're all good. The acting is okay, it's so so. The action scenes are cool as well. I like the action sequences, they're really good. Mm -hmm. George Lazenby, he did the best what he can. The script is not written all that well, but. I'm not going to give the the movie hate for the script. I can blame. I can say this movie is a little bit too long. It's an hour of 140 minutes, and um, George Laz Lazenby he had difficulties during shooting. Not receiving even coaching, despite his lack of acting experience and everything, and all that. And this was the longest James Bond movie until to Casino Royale. Not that crappy 1967 version, the 2006 version. But the music, the score is probably the best thing about this film and the best score of the series. John Barry does a great job. The theme song is awesome. The ending is kind of upsetting, but it's alright. But this movie. Critical response remains divided. Some like it, some hate it. I'm mostly in between, but this is the most serious, the most cynical, and this is the most tragic of the James Bond movies. But I don't dislike this film. I just think it's a little bit of disappointment. So, out for that alone, I'm going to give On Her Majesty's Secret Service a red box rental. So let me know in the comments below what you think of On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And I'll see you guys for Diamonds Are Forever.